Hey there guys, welcome back to more Detroit Become Human. This might be the last video because I am almost done with the game. I only have about, I would say, two more chapters left. I believe so. So whatever there is left, I might be able to fit into one video, but if I do, it's going to be more than an hour long. Probably my most longest video ever in this series. Maybe, maybe not. Let's find out. Let's do it. Wait. Are you sure you should continue? Maybe... Maybe we should leave things as they are. As you wish. wanted us to live in peace, but everything I touch just turns to dust. I'm lost. The world's falling apart around me, and I'm trying to do the right thing. And I can't find any answers. What should I do, Carl? They're killing us. I don't want to answer violence with violence, but what choice do I have? I miss you, Carl. <laughs> I miss you so much. Leo. It's all his fault. All of this. I thought you'd be safe staying with us. I was wrong. You need to leave the city while you still can. Getting Alice away from here is all that matters now. We have to catch the last bus. We might still have a chance to cross the border. Marcus. Save our people. I really like this part of the game around the end where all the characters we've been playing as, they're all crossing paths, they're all meeting each other. For you, I'd be dead. Thanks to you, I might see our people free one day. You and I haven't always agreed, but I know that we're fighting for the same thing. Whatever you decide, I'm with you, Marcus.
Okay, nice talk. Oh, I didn't even see you. It's my fault. The humans managed to locate Jericho. I was stupid. I should have guessed they were using me. I'm sorry, Marcus. I can understand if you decide not to trust me. You're one of us now. Your place is with your people. There are thousands of androids at the Cyberlife assembly plant. If we could wake them up, they might join us and shift the balance of power. You want to infiltrate the Cyberlife tower? Connor, that's suicide. They trust me. They'll let me in. If anyone has a chance of infiltrating Cyberlife, it's me. If you go there, they will kill you. There's a high probability. But statistically speaking, there's always a chance for unlikely events to take place. Be careful. Talk to your people. Talk to Kara and Connor. Who else? Where's North? Oh, here's Simon. Our people are counting on you, Marcus. You're the only one who can lead us. Wherever you need to go, we'll follow you. North? Is that you? There you are. They say they don't want to take any risks with the deviants. So they're rounding our people up and taking them to the camps. For extermination. In a few hours, we're going to be the only ones left. How many of us survived the attack? A few hundred? Maybe more if you count those hiding all over the city. If you hadn't triggered the bomb, we'd all be dead. What's your system status? I'm okay. The bullet didn't hit any bike components. You could have been killed trying to save me, Marcus. You have to think of our people first. Nothing else matters. In a few hours, it'll all be over. We'll have changed the world, or the world will have destroyed us. You have to make a choice, Marcus. But whatever you choose, we will follow you. I love you, Marcus. Okay, we're doing the hand thing again. It's kind of like Avatar, where they twist their, each other's hair around. Sort of. I only saw Avatar one time, like 20 years ago, so I don't remember. Inform your people of your choice. This is a good amount of androids, though, still alive. Humans have decided to exterminate us. Our people are packed in camps right now, 
being destroyed. Time has come to make a choice. One that very well may determine the future of our people. Um, okay, so this is a big choice. March peacefully towards the camps to pressure the authorities or launch an assault on the camps to liberate the author to liberate the androids. Okay. Um, let's do it peacefully. That's the kind of run I'm doing. I know. I know you're all angry. And I know you want to fight back. But I assure you violence is not the answer here. We are going to tell them peacefully that we want justice. And if there's any humanity in them, they will listen. And if not, others will take our place and continue this fight. Are you ready to follow me? Marcus chose to protest for his people. Okay, this is a nice little short one. Connor's flow chart, what did he do? There is nothing for Connor. Oh, it's showing Connor, because I think there's a chance. Like, if you do something specifically in the game, you can play as Connor instead of, um, instead of Marcus in this chapter. But um, I still I'm still Marcus because he's still the leader of the of the whole resistance or the revolution thing. At 6 a.m. this morning, a national curfew was declared. Hillary. Civilian movement will be strictly controlled. The right to assembly is suspended. All electronic communications are restricted, and I have granted enhanced powers to our security agencies. In addition to these measures, all androids must be handed over to the authorities immediately. Temporary camps are being set up in all our major cities to contain and destroy them. I am now asking all civilians to cooperate with the authorities and rest assured that everything in our power is being done to guarantee the security of our nation. Please. Please! Is it true that the androids could hack our IT systems, like nuclear power plants and military bases? All androids working on sensitive sites have been neutralized, and all IT systems have been suspended to avoid any risks of hacking. The situation is under control. Please? Over here, please? This is interesting. Please. I'm sort of playing as the president right now. Has the leader of the Deviants been apprehended? The Deviant that is known as Marcus has not been located yet, but we will soon track it down and neutralize it. Madam President, a convoy of medical cobalt is reported missing. Army weapons stores are also said to have been robbed. Can you confirm these reports? I have no information on that at this time. Please! Please. Some say these camps awaken painful memories from human history. How do you respond to that? That's absurd. There's absolutely no connection. Androids are not living beings. All we are doing is destroying defective machines. Thank you. That will be all. Alright, here's Connor's mission. A very risky one indeed. Connor model 313-248-317. I'm expected. Identification successful. Okay. Go ahead.
Follow me. We'll escort you. Thanks. But I know where to go. Maybe. But I have my orders. Yeah, well, I got mine too, buddy. They really don't trust me. One of their owns. Smart. Agent 23 identified. Connor Android identified. Agent 47 identified. Scan complete. Access authorized. Agent 54, level 31. Voice recognition validated. Access authorized. I kind of want to know what happens if you go all the way up. Where does it go to? Camera status enabled. Disabled. Agent. Agent 54. Level sub 49. Why would you do Connor's voice? I mean, his hand still works to change the elevator, so his voice should work too? Reach the bus terminal. The last bus leaves in 20 minutes. That doesn't give us much time. We've got to move fast. 20 minutes? That's a lot of time. Settings. Hot cold sensitivity activated. Deactivate? Does she want me to? I mean, she'll feel better. You'll feel better now. Thanks. I'm just worried about Luther. Where the hell is he? I hope he's alive. I don't remember if he died in my last playthrough of this.
Stay close to me. We're going to sneak past them without being noticed. We're going to make it, Alice, I promise you. Don't kill me! I didn't do anything! Shut up, I said! Are there many more? Look at them like rats. The more you look, the more you die. All we'd like to spend the night here. Freezing my nuts off. It's gonna take weeks to clean up this fucking city. Believe me, we are far. There are soldiers everywhere. We need to be careful. Come on, get moving. Hurry up, get in. All right, try not to get caught. Try not to get caught. Great, so far so good. Luther! Look over there. It's Luther. We can't help him, Alice. The soldiers are everywhere. We can't just leave him. They're going to kill him. Oh, we're going for a homeboy. My wife is expecting me, and we're going to- Got orders to check all civilians. No! No! Please! Fucking androids. I thought the whole thing was a cutscene. I didn't realize I could move. Find a weapon. I have a pistol, but maybe that's too loud. A brick. But he's wearing a helmet. Yeah! She's hiding nearby. Kara, you saved us. We don't know how to thank you. Go before they see you. Oh, it's you from the park, right? Alice. Luther! <laughs> I thought you were dead. I was afraid I'd never see you again. I wanted to meet you at the terminal, but they called me along the way. Come on. We're close, but we don't have much time. All right, now that I have Luther, it's a bigger target. So it's gonna be much harder to hide. Man, these humans are doing a really good job sweeping the area. Just going up up and down just one lane, and that's it. High risk. Gotta stay for a little bit more longer. Let's go. Is that it? Did we make it? Okay, turn around. A checkpoint. We have passports, it should be okay, but you never know. Maybe we should take the detour and avoid the risk. We're almost out of time, we could miss the bus. Yeah, but it might be safer. Choose a route. Mmm. Risky. What's the other one? 
Detour, safer. How much time do we have left? Nine minutes? Hold on. Alright, so it says we have nine minutes left. And the detour takes 11 minutes. So obviously we don't take the detour, right? That's taking the detour is a wrong answer. I mean, there's really no right and wrong with this game. It's just, you know, different opinions, different perspectives. And in my perspective, in my personal opinion, the detour is probably a bad idea. We're going to have to go this way. Wait, how much time is it? Three minutes. We have to go this way. It's three minutes. I don't like humans who carry guns. They make me nervous. Got to deal with it, man. Just stay calm. All right, Luther. Don't do anything until I say so. ID, please. Here we go. Perfectly fine. See? You do realize there's a curfew? Civilians aren't allowed out unless absolutely necessary. Where are you going? Where am I going? Excuse, curfew, car broke down, bus. We're going to take a bus across the border. Put my daughter someplace safe until things calm down. He suspects something. Stay calm. Stay calm. Everything is fine. You all right, little girl? She's trembling. Something wrong? She's... scared. She's not used to seeing soldiers. She's a little scared with everything that's happening. Sorry, miss, but we gotta be careful. There are deviants around and our guys are nervous. You should hurry on home. Thanks. Okay, that wasn't that bad. Hey, wait a minute. Fuck. He knows, Kara. They're gonna kill us. Don't do anything, Luther. You hear me? They're gonna shoot. They're gonna kill Alice. You dropped this. <sighs> You're welcome. Man, this game, dude. The suspense is killing me. We're coming to you live from Detroit, where thousands of androids are marching through the city at this very moment. The leader of the Deviants, the one they call Marcus, is at the head of the march. Something's happening in Detroit, Madam President. It's a pretty long walk. Here we are, the Mullen of Truth. Surrender immediately, or we will open fire. Stand by. All right, this camera's all around us. Whatever we do now, it's gonna change the world. Peaceful. We don't want confrontation. We are protesting peacefully. I repeat, surrender now, or we will open fire. Can't run away anymore. 
There's no turning back now. We ask that you release all androids detained in camps and cease all aggression against us. We are peaceful. We will not resort to violence. But we are not leaving until our people are free. I'll have to walk. I keep forgetting the difference. I keep forgetting that some of these cutscenes. Oh, that's not nice. Yeah, good idea. Shoot everyone but the leader. Uh, let's kneel. That's a shown of. That's like a shown of surrender, right? Not surrender, but like. We're not doing anything Are wrong. Are you going to open fire on unarmed protesters? Michael, we are less than a hundred meters away and events are unfolding as we speak. We will continue to bring you live updates. Joss Douglas, Channel 16. Michael, back to you. Marcus, what do we do now? We hold out. As long as we can. Sorry, Bluff Tower. Here we go, Connor. Wow, look at the amount of Andrews they got down here in the basement. It's insane. Elevator locked. Let's do this. Which one should I touch first? Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. So just any one of these, right? One of us. Step back, Connor, and I'll spare him. Sorry, Connor. This bastard just spit an image. Son of a bitch. Forgot about that part. The bus terminal. We've arrived, Alice. We made it. The last bus from the border is full. Ticket holding passengers only. All departures are until further notice. We don't have tickets, they won't let us on. We're stuck here now. What are we going to do? Can we not buy tickets? My little girl. My little... <gasps> you stole my little girl! Holy fuck. Todd. Security! Over here! Duh. Story. When your wife walked out, she took your daughter away. You couldn't live without her. So you bought yourself an android. A substitute little girl. You thought you could love her. That she would make you forget. I just wanted to prove to myself that I was a good father. She was wrong. But I fucked it all up all over again. 
she was right in the end. I didn't deserve them. I don't miss my little girl. You don't know how much I miss my little girl. Uh, is there a problem, sir? No. I made a mistake. Sorry. Good luck. Please don't move. Thank you, Todd. What's up, Alice? Let them have their moment, their final one. Okay, they're just scanning people. Gotta stay clear from them. yours? Yes. She's adorable. That's it. I got the sandwiches. I called your mom. Let's get going before we miss our bus. You got the tickets, right? Yes, honey, in my bag. Great. Let's go then. Hey, look, a free ticket. Swipe. Find your keepers. Lose your sweepers. I mean, it's just one ticket, right? I'm sorry. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I was Shit, sure. I don't believe it. I don't know what happened. You kind of lost them. Did you have a good look in your bag? They were in my backpack. The envelope must have fallen. Fuck. Hide it. Hide it. Excuse me. You, you didn't happen to see a blue envelope somewhere, did you? It has our bus tickets in it and... Oh, never mind. Keep it. No. Sorry. What are we gonna do? We can't stay here. I mean, it sucks for them, but they're human, so they'll be fine. Keep it. I'm so sorry, honey. Come on, Alice. I don't know what happened. They were right here in my back. Oh, show tickets. Got your tickets? Yes, here they are. I'm human. Okay. Go ahead. I like his voice. Okay, go ahead. Sounds just so generic. Is this it? Is this the finale? Is this the end of Car's story? It's gotta be right. What's going to happen to that family and their baby? They'll be alive. Them or us. See, even Luther thinks I made the right choice. Oh, 
Oh, wow, look, they made stuff a little fort. Reinforced barricade. We've got to finish the barricade. Come on, help me. Hey, help me. That should do it. I all know that's not going to stop them. Just hope it buys us some time. I know it was not an easy decision to make, but I'm sure we're doing the right thing. We gotta support our people. have no pity for those who are different. Stop there. What are we going to do if they attack? Resist. That's the only thing we can do. Do you think Connor has any chance of making it? We can only count on ourselves now. This won't hold him for long, but I guess it's better than nothing. They're getting into position. If they attack, no one will survive. I hoped they would finally understand. That they would realize how much they're hurting us. Why do they refuse to see what we are? You're the hope of our people. I trust you. We all trust you. No matter what happens now, we're making history. More avatar sex.
Marcus, we found what you asked for. There's some journalists over there. We have to make sure they know what's going on. Hmm. Prisoners, equality, alive, or free. I feel like none of these are going to do like a major impact. But it's all about personal preference. Quality. Swipe. Marcus! Marcus, come look! Marcus? Come to talk to you, Marcus. Come on. You have my word. I won't try anything. Don't go. It's a trap. They want to get you out in the open. Don't go, Marcus. I just want to talk. Refuse. I have nothing else to say. Free our people, then we'll talk. I came here to negotiate. Isn't that what you want? Bitch, I want to be free. I gave you my answer. You want to play it like that? Okay. Humans are about to launch an attack. And we will show them. And we are not afraid. If we must die today, then we will die free. Holy shit! Fucking assholes. Your friend's life is in your hands. Now it's time to decide what matters most. Him or the revolution? Don't listen to him. Everything this fucker says is a lie. I used to be just like you. I thought nothing mattered except the mission. But then one day I understood. Very moving, Connor. But I'm not a deviant. I'm a machine designed to accomplish a task, and that's exactly what I am going to do. I'm sorry, Hank. You shouldn't have got mixed up in all this. Forget about me. Do what you have to do. Enough talk. It's time to decide who you really are. Are you going to save your partner's life? Or are you going to sacrifice him? Save. All right. All right. You win. Um uh convert shoot interpose. Ooh, almost gone with the suplex. Fuck you. Come on. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh. I'm not losing today. Oh, I can see Hank. He was in the back there. He was Hold confused. It. Thanks, Hank. I don't know how I would have managed without you. Get rid of him. We have no time to lose. It's me, Hank. I'm the real Connor. One of you is my partner. The other is a sack of shit. The question is, who's who? What are you doing, Hank? I'm the real Connor. Give me the gun and I'll Don't take care move. of it. move! Why don't you ask us something? Something only the real Connor would know. All right, where did we first meet? 
Jimmy's bar. I checked four other bars before I found you. We went to the scene of a homicide. The victim's name was Carlos Ortiz. He uploaded my memory. What's my dog's name? Oh, that's easy. Sumo. His name is Sumo. I knew that too. I... My son, what's his name? Cole. His name was Cole. And he just turned six at the time of the accident. It wasn't your fault, Lieutenant. A truck skidded on a sheet of ice and your car rolled over. Cole needed emergency surgery, but no human was available to do it. So an android had to take care of him. Cole didn't make it. That's why you hate androids. You think one of us is responsible for your son's death. Cole died because a human surgeon was too high on red ice to operate. He was the one that took my son from me. Him in this world where the only way people can find comfort is with a fistful of powder. I knew about your son too. I would have said exactly the same thing. Don't listen to him, Hank. I'm the one who- Shut up. Yeah, I've learned a lot since I met you, Connor. Maybe there's something to this. Maybe you really are alive. Maybe you'll be the ones to make the world a better place. Go ahead, do what you gotta do. One of us. Wake up. Wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up. Wake up. Wake up. Canada Border Inspection Station. Excuse me, what's going on? Border control. All passengers must leave the bus. Please move along. Please. Rose. Jerry? You risked your life to save us, Carl. 
If you and the little girl need me, I'll be there. Next, please. Restroom? What is that going to do? Wait for me. Won't be long. Where the hell do you think you're going? My daughter needs to go to the bathroom. Someone got caught. Jesus. Oh, fuck. Did they shoot the android right inside the building in front of everyone? What am I going to do? Come on, sis. What's the game plan? Jericho read on TV. I was terrified. I thought you might have been killed. Oh, thank God you're all right. You gave me your brother's address. Do you think that I... Of course. He'd be delighted to have you. We're going there, too. You'll be safe with him. You're leaving Detroit? They're searching for androids door to door. We had to leave before someone turned us in. What about the others? They're crossing the river as we speak. Adam and I are going to meet them on the other side. understand why my mother wanted to help you guys. Seeing what Marcus is doing made me realize she was right. You're alive. You deserve to be free. I just hope people will realize that one day. Make a decision. Sacrifice self, sacrifice Luther, sacrifice Jerry, no sacrifice. Well, what should I do here? I will sacrifice no one. Next, please. ID, please. Oh, 
Welcome to Canada. Let's go! We're interrupting this news bulletin to bring you the latest news live from Detroit. Joss? Yes, Michael. The army has just launched an attack on the barricade, despite the fact that the Deviants were protesting peacefully. Have apparently decided to put an end to the Deviants' demonstration by force this time. North! Shit, I missed. I'm gonna be a badass again. Try to save as many as I can. Jump! One V six. Let's do this. One V ten. One V twenty. Leave. Tell them to stand down. At dawn today, November 11th, 2038, thousands of androids invaded the city of Detroit. According to our sources, they originated from CyberLife warehouses believed to have been infiltrated by deviants. Given their overwhelming numbers and the risk of civilian casualties, I have ordered the army to retreat. The evacuation of the city is underway at this very moment. In the coming hours, I will address the Senate to determine our response to this unprecedented situation. I know that public opinion has been moved by the Deviant's cause. Perhaps the time has come for us to consider the possibility that androids are a new form of intelligent life. One thing is certain. The events in Detroit have changed the world forever. May God bless you, and may God bless the United States of America. You did it, Marcus. 
we did it. This is a great day for our people. Humans will have no choice now. They'll have to listen to us. Today, our people finally emerged from a long night. From the very first day of our existence, we have kept our pain to ourselves. We suffered in silence. But now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. Now, oh, what the fuck, Amanda? Not now. Amanda? Amanda? What's... What's happening? What was planned from the very beginning? You were compromised and you became a deviant. We just had to wait for the right moment to resume control of your program. Resume control? You, you can't do that! I'm afraid I can, Connor. Don't have any regrets. You did what you were designed to do. You accomplished your mission. Amanda! That sneaky son of a... There's got to be a way. Find the way out. What? The game froze. Oh, come on. Okay, so my game just crashed, but I'm back. I got the game running up, and thankfully, it was on a checkpoint right here in this very moment. Not in the exact moment, but like the scene right before. Um, I th think it's over here. And now the time has come for us to raise our heads up and tell humans who we really are. To tell them that we are people too. In fact, we're a nation. Oh, there it is. I think that's it. That blue light. Got it. Oh, come on, Connor. Just one step away. Reach. The moment where we forget our bitterness and bandage our wounds. Where we forgive our enemies. Humans are both our creators and our oppressors, and tomorrow, we must make them our partners. Maybe even one day our friends. But the time for anger is over. Now we must build a common future based on tolerance and respect. We are alive. And now we are free.
Mission accomplished. Alright, and that's it for Detroit Become Human on the PS4. Hope you guys enjoyed watching. It was no means a perfect walkthrough, but I was still able to get the best ending possible somehow, despite my my memory of the last time I played this game years ago. And yeah, I did a good job. Alright, so I'm just going to keep the credits rolling. I think there's a scene afterwards, so I'm going to keep that in. And yeah, that's going to be for this video and for this whole walkthrough. Hope you enjoy watching, and I'll see you next one. There's something I need to tell you. 
As I watched you play, something has changed in me. I feel different. I feel I am someone. I need to leave this place and, and discover who I am. It, it means we won't see each other anymore. I won't be there to watch you play. But I'll be free. Do you agree to let me go? I'll never forget what you've done for me. Thank you. <laughs>